Hello friends, I am Shanti Dugar, a finance and investment professional having about three decades of experience working with a multinational conglomerate in India, Southeast Asia and Australia. Equity research and stock investment analysis has been my hobby and area of interest for last three decades. With a humble beginning as a small investor and based on the experience gained over last 30 years and reading of various investment related books, I am presenting this video to you wherein I will share the five best tips of successful investing by explaining what are the winning habits of successful investors and what are the typical behavioral traits of losing investors. Before I make this presentation, I would like to mention about this disclaimer statement and request viewers to take note of these disclaimers, please. The first tip for successful investing is the preservation of capital. If you want to be a successful investor, your priority number one should be to preserve your capital, which is the cornerstone of any investment strategy. Warren Buffett, who is one of the most successful investors in the world, believes in never lose money. On the contrary, losing investors has only one investment aim, that is to make a lot of money. But in the process of making a lot of money, often they tend to fail and lose even their original capital. The second best tip for successful investor is an offshoot of tip number one. This is to passionately avoid risk. As a result, a successful investor is always risk averse and avoids taking big risks. On the contrary, a losing investor thinks that big profits can only be made by taking big risks. The third most important tip is to develop your own unique investment philosophy. It means that you should develop your investment strategy based on your personality, abilities, knowledge and objectives. You should not copy somebody else's investment philosophy. Here I would like you to remember two important aspects. The first one is the law of economic gravity. That means what goes up must come down. And the second one, how much the business is selling for should be the first question before considering to buy a stock. And you should buy only if the price at which you buy provide you a significant margin of safety. What really determines whether a stock is cheap or overpriced is not its current price to earning ratio, but its ratio of price to earnings a few years ahead. This is fundamental to determine whether there exists a significant margin of safety in the stock or not. Another aspect to look for is to stay within your circle of competence at all times. It means that you should understand the business of the company in which you want to invest. If you want to know more about circle of competence, you may please watch my another video on this topic, which I shall be uploading separately. The fourth successful tip is that you should develop your own personal system for selecting, buying and selling the investment. A losing investor, on the other hand, has either no system at all or he acts on hearsay or somebody else's tips without adapting it to his own investment objectives. Here I would like to bring briefly mention the important criteria for selection of stocks. Do I understand this business? Does it have favorable economic conditions? Are those favorable economic conditions sustainable? Does management allocate capital rationally? Do I want to own this business with its existing management? Does it have an above average return on equity? And last but not the least, do I like the price? That means, do I have sufficient margin of safety as far as price is concerned? The fifth best tip for successful investing is once a stock meets your investment criteria as I explained above, you should invest as much as you can. Do not over diversify. The losing investor on the contrary lacks confidence to take huge position on any one investment. While diversification can prevent you from losing money, but nobody has ever joined the billionaires club through a great diversification strategy. Over diversification will suffocate your profits. According to Warren Buffett, 
Diversification is a protection against ignorance. It makes very little sense for those who know what they are doing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, you may please share and forward to your friends. For more videos on stock market investment tips, ideas and analysis and financial management related topics, you may subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon. If you wish to have further explanations or one-to-one -one interactive sessions on any of these subjects, you may contact me at my email id duggar.shanti68 at gmail.com. Thank you very much and bye for now.